All right. Uh, there's a pile of stuff. Can I hit it? I'm here. Can I? I can't move I the shot. barrels, unfortunately. I'm here. All right. So if we go this way, <laughs> do we have more enemies over here? All right. Dining hall, kitchen, it's canyon rampart, storage tower. Dead bodies. There's the lighthouse. I'll take care of this. Ah, oh, we don't need ammunition. Nice and quiet. All right. Then we'll just go this way. Easy now. Anything over here? More dead people. That's great. Alright, there's a ledge up there. What's this? Engineering workshop. There might be explosives in there. Alright, let's go in there. I assume they'll help us clear out the rubble. Open. We're, we're gonna open. All right. What's well, open? Look. Oh, than rough. Kill them. Happy to oblige. No! I hear you. Get in front of the archer. Of course. Oh, good. Something I can do. How may I help? Um. Take out the archer first. Speak freely. Between the eyes. I did not kindly spell speak. How may I help? Love our room beyond seek. Yeah. That guy's dead. Hmm? We're gonna just gang up on this dude. God damn it. Speak freely. <laughs> Still got yes. it. I'm just like that. <laughs> now he's fine. He has like he's a sack of hit points. I'm here. Love on beyond sick. Happy to oblige. Time to separate the chaff. You were saying? Huh. Yes? I guess it's how many souls? Is uh, what's this? Uh, shop records. A lot of saltpeter, a lot of ammunition, blah. All right, let's see if we can open this door up. Should be able to. Never met a lock I could. I've done it good and well. You okay? Finally, some peace and quiet. Just keep that bird away from my work. I assume you guys know each other. Stand down, Ishii. The man is doing important work. 
Slave sphincter, those snakes were noisy. I don't suppose you brought any extra parchment with you? Um, your fortress is under attack and you're worried about parchment. Of course. What else? Slowly, Aimuro. Can't expect them to know if you don't tell them. Hey, you suppose he's got a bit of half tucked in there too? <laughs> I'm writing it all down. My research, my work. Something to survive before the next walk in Colossus, the next Naga warband. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. So much to do. Uh, there are survivors at the head of docks. I can help you reach them. Safety in numbers, eh? A comforting illusion. Let the others have it if they wish it. I must see that my work survives. Uh, what happened here? What didn't? A colossus made of Adra marched through the fort, grew bright like luminous, and scores of soldiers fell dead. Incredible. He's really a workaholic. If Aethas got to them first, then you can fit their remains in a pouch of white leaf. Then the Naga killed everyone else. Except Latharn, I suppose. Yes, he must have left. Latharn? Dornstar fellow. Arrive yesterday, last week, complained of strange dreams. Smart of him to leave so soon. He's got to be acting on his dreams, trying to help our god. They should split up. Safer that way. Better odds. Do you need something? If only one. Just a prototype. In there. Captain, I don't ask for much. I need to see this thing go off. It is most impressive. You're welcome to it. I only ask that you compile notes on the blast radius, detonation temperature, smoke formation, debris trajectory. How indeed. Naga everywhere. Suppose your best chance will be up along the walls, west and south. But how to get there? Better perhaps to keep going south, around the edge of the fort, through Fleet Master Ko's office. More cover from the Naga. All right, I'll take the ammunition then. And thank you for the potions. All right, we don't need this. All right, thanks, dude. So helpful and useful. Don't forget to lock the door when we get out. To me, I could just kill Barnaga. It's not a big deal. I get more loot that way, honestly. Grappling hook. Oh, hi. Still as a pond. Can't hide from me. Attack! Ha! Tell me. Lava rule beyond seek. And that didn't bring up. What can I do you for? Uh, we need some more wounds. I wish I started up five. Stay down for a little bit. All right, you guys hey, get two turns. That wasn't half bad. Mm -hmm. How may I help? We should take out that guy. Soon. Certainly. Just like that. Dead. Your orders. Huh. Right between the eyes. What do you need? Get that flank in. I'm here. Lava, I need more single target damage. You for? I'll light the darkness. I love that you fucking. Were I'll take it. 
I'll see what I can find. Uh, we were in the dining hall, right? What's up here? Oh, uh, we got barrels of stuff. Oh, there's stuff. I'm gonna save all the gold gear until I can get back onto the ship to get people more stuff. I think we've been here. Yeah, I've been here. Alright, everything else outside. Yeah, so the kitchen is connected to the underground passage. And up there. Oh, what's up there? Any... There, I think it was like a cannonball or something. Right, we got a broken house. The shadow comes to Bloody the light. Ah, the quirt and rock! Explode everything! More fire! I'm listening. And the bird's on fire. <laughs> Be upon you. Yes. Um. Lavaru beyond seek. Let's try again. Yeah. What do you need? That guy's almost dead. That should get both of them. Off. Captain. Ashiza, strike. She leveled. Uh, what should we get her? More mechanics. My stealth isn't great. Um, insight? I, I like more insight. And that interrupt was real good. Oh, that's plated. We don't need that. No, I'm not gonna give her any pistols, but downstairs. Hello. Do we have any survivors? I would like some survivors. Um That's weird. I remember this little soldier. Glad to see you made a friend. Doggy! Come on, doggy. I have a dog. I didn't even notice the dog. Poor puppy. 
Poor pupper. All right, we go this way. Nice and quiet. That's a big footprint. All right, going fast. Up, up, up. Any plants around here? Nope. Just checking out everything before. I mean, that I think that's the way out of the fort. There's a cat up there. I need to get that cat. All right. There's nothing over here. We can... All right, let's go to the lighthouse then. I think I've been pretty much everywhere else. It looks like except that area, but we can go back. All right. Let's go in. I'll restore to Adra here. Oh. Oh dear. Hi. The sea striped fiends send you to uproot the tree of the gods, yes? Their blasphemy knows no bounds. Uh. Give the order, Captain. Or just nod. I'm not picky. So, the fiends corrupt even the sand striped ones. Now I taste their stench on her. If you join them in befouling the Adra, then you will join them in death, too. You're telling me all this, 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 this slaughter's about Adra. The tree of the gods, yes. Which these fiends plunder and profane. Uh, I, I, I think I get it. Go! Carry a warning of what you have seen to the other shufflers. I, I kind of need... What warning do you expect me to deliver? That shufflers must not disturb these roots. Or the gods will destroy the islands again. So they did it before. Do your stories say nothing of the many disasters? Of the shuffler nests washed away like foam? Many generations ago, the sand striped ones built great hives across the islands and bastions around the Adra roots. So Hawana civilization spanned the archipelago, but the Ikwanans built temples around the Adra. They did not build alone. The sand striped ones helped, as they help other fiends now. Their meddling displeased the gods. So the gods smashed their works with heaving volcanoes and crashing waves. So you think history's repeating itself? You shufflers are beasts of habit. You do not learn. You do not change. You cast off your sheddings by night, only to put them back on at daybreak. You wrap yourself in filthy, worn-out things. Our ancestors hid deep, where the waters quenched the fires and muffled the storms. They remembered while shufflers scattered. Now, the shufflers build again. The gods see. They will tear them all down. I'm a watcher. I can restore the age if you let me near it. If your fat tongue speaks true, then give us proof. Look, Berth, could you, I mean, it'd be a great time for one of your demonstrations. Okay, what would you, would you consider proof? I tell you, thick tongues lie. Forked tongues do not. If what you say is true, then surely you can speak with the dead. Oh, yeah, I do that all the time. I will believe your words only if I hear them from the tongue of my own people. Cool. Sugun, hear this. Hello. Sugun, I found the way. Yanis, you died. We saw. She is dead. The way became dark. But this one brought light. We will kill the shuffler and free your soul, Yanis. 
It doesn't work that way. Do old scales cloud your eyes? The shuffler glows like the god walker, like the way. She will open the way. Well, I mean, do you need more proof? The gods give you power, yes. But is it enough? Approach. Restore the blessing of the gods to the Adra. Also, advantageous spot. As your hand touches the dim Adra, you feel the same cool, pricking sensation that you did when you touched the pillar near Port Maje. You concentrate on the pillar. The world around you swiftly falls away leaving only the vast emptiness of the in-between. The Audra and a multitude of golden threads undulating off into the distance. For a second time, you gather the threads in your mind and bind them together, forming a solid tether that ripples out toward its distant anchor. Again, a crack sounds from the terminus. Your consciousness is violently pulled along the cord. You are prepared for the sensation this time, but are still disoriented when you come to a sudden stop. You find yourself standing behind a familiar titanic statue as it trudges through invisible waters, standing at Aethys's shoulder. Your soul is dwarfed by the massive god's form. Energy pulses along the tether, each wave feeding the Audra's movements. He stops. His head cranes behind him, again accompanied by the sound of stone shearing and buckling. His eyes rest upon you. He does not reach for the cord, but considers you for a long span of silence before speaking. Your first attempt to contact me was brave. This second attempt, is it born out of desperation or something else? Why do you continue to follow me? Watcher of Cad Nua. I'm a priest of you. Your faith must be troubled by what is happening. What wisdom do you think you will find from this vantage that you could not on your own? Your purpose? Why would you risk your life and soul for this knowledge? The last time you appeared in Hell or the Death of Thousands. At first, he does not respond. But there is a wavering from the light within him. A momentary dimming that allows you to see the souls within the Audra clearly. I never sought violence or death, but Margrin and the Hand Occult have ensured that the world believes the Madman Widewing tried to destroy the Deerwood and everyone in it. In truth, a war was what I desired, but not one of violence. I sought a war of conscience. If people saw that the ruins so faithfully guarded by the Glanfathans were nothing more than machines, machines the Angwithans had used to turn themselves into gods, what could that mean? Aethys becomes silent. You can sense his presence advancing back along the cord between you. His energy flows over your hand, tendrils of light probing into the air around you. They poke and prod at the silent lost souls hovering in your vicinity. You are in a unique position. In spite of the work of the Leaden Key and Hand Occult, you have seen through our facade. You know the God's true nature. Without the benefit of your knowledge, few mortals would be willing to accept the true history of their gods. After all, we weren't. The last time I walked Aora, I made a mistake in not revealing my true purpose. I believe you would understand it better than most. All right, tell me. Yes, I will tell you. Oh, for you. fuck's sakes. But this is not the time. As I take this body farther from the lighthouse, the tether grows weaker, and I have already tarried too long. Soon this link will unravel completely. If I have not reached my destination when that happens, I will need to pull more souls from your world. Is that what happened here? It is. When you contacted me from Port Maje, 
I had to sever my tether to the Luminous Ardra. Without it, I lacked the strength to reach Hasongo. I pulled souls from the creatures of the ocean and from the people at Hasongo until I could reach the lighthouse. So you're using them as energy to get around. The soldiers and Naga there were no threat to me. I did not kill them out of malice, but simply to keep this body moving. Did I cause you to kill all these people? That question, Watcher, requires a more philosophical examination than we have time for. The edges of Aethys's massive form blur and dissolve. The huge figure retreats from you. As it moves, the tether begins to rapidly unravel. As Aethys speaks, his voice sounds garbled, fragmented, and distant. If you would know more, find me at the Ashen Maw in Margren's Teeth. I must rest there before I begin my final work. When I leave that place, you will not be able to follow. Before I go, I should return some of this to you. I still have need of the great power of your soul, but I can spare you this portion. A pulse of energy moves back along the golden cord toward you. It feels familiar, comforting, even before it contacts you. Can I get the rest of it back? The energy washes over you, flooding you with feelings and memories you had thought long forgotten until they settle back into the cracks of your soul. And then the tether and cord snap. Aethys's figure evaporating into dust that mingles with the endless gray expanse. Heat rushes over you, and the uncomfortable sensation of the Audra Pillar's presence cuts off. The gloom of the in-between is pierced by the light of the living world. You are back in the lighthouse. No longer dim. The luminous Audra beside you is filled with warmth and light. There you go. Long have we kept peace with the sand-striped people. But then, the foreign ones came and spread. Killed our people. Built their hives everywhere. Your type weren't exactly accommodating. We were sure the Godwalker came to cast them out. That driving them away was a holy mission. Uh, slaughter is... Hmm. That's because they killed your people and... Well, slaughter's never a holy mission. You have never fought to defend something. Very fortunate. Or cowardly. Uh, I have. We must go. I know not what this means, but our brethren should hear of it. Not an option, Snake. Bet you were keeping count of how many good soldiers you fanged. There's too much death here already. Captain? Pace yourself. We have more important fights ahead of us. Hi. Hi. Ma'am. You show us something new today, Shuffler. Thank you for this. And for your mercy. So, we're back. Did you miss us? Of course I missed you. Why am I being honest? Well, thanks. It was just me and the bird for a couple of days, and we're sick to death of each other. Something happened out there, and it's got me all turned around. What do you got? I didn't exactly deliver a missive. That parchment was meant for me, and I delayed opening it as long as I could. Atsura gave me a name and a location. That was all. When you're a sharpshooter by trade, and your boss doesn't offer clarification, you learn to arrive at your own conclusions. Oh, go on. The rub of it is, my target wasn't some ship's captain or an ogre swinging a fence post. He was the Ranga of a Huana tribe. Maya? Take a breath, Captain. You're not exactly a pacifist. The village was beachside. No sign of foreign occupation. I might have been the first outsider to make land in 
quite a while. They were just simple folk going about their lives. Couldn't have been more than 50 of them. Their Ranga, though? He had a voice that carried, that echoed in the hearts of his people. He was my target. You can guess what happened next. I picked a spot in the time of day. Morning, west facing, plenty of tree cover. The light was in my favor. The winds were low. He left his hut, mussed his kid's hair, and set off for the beach on the other side of the island, checking lobster traps. Ishii followed him overhead, and I followed him with my sights, holding my breath, waiting for the right moment. Did you have to do it? And then I stopped. I pictured all those captains I'd riddled with holes and wondered, is this how we treat civilians? I shot him in the back of the head. He was a corpse before he hit the ground. It took a while for his kin to find him, but only seconds to figure out that he didn't die of a weak heart. This tribe surprised me. They acted like I kicked over their anthill. They got mad. They got to work. The old Ranga went onto a pyre, and the new one snapped into place. She took up the call for unity while the embers were still warm. Acted like I hadn't just killed her boss for doing the same thing. So, killing a chieftain didn't rile the tribe? They mourned, they seethed, they tore out their hair. But they rebuilt. By the time I left, they were talking about peace with the other tribes like it was inevitable. Did it make a difference that the Rongo you killed was a civilian? Of course. I shoot to disrupt soldiers and end conflicts. Not to stifle ideas or crush spirits. That's Valian work. Have we been delivering assassination missions this whole time? Fair question. Short answer? I don't know. Atsuri uses different codes for each of us. I could teach myself to write ink with him before I cracked another agent's instructions. They can learn more from this. I guess that depends on how much faith you have in Atsura's plan. If you don't mind, I need to let this brew in my head for a while and see what bubbles up. We should talk to Atsura. He'll want to know that I've done as he asked. I've got some answers. <sighs> Why? Yes, of course. There's nothing up here. Nope. Wait, oh yeah, there's a cat upstairs. Cat, 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 cat. Oh. I'll handle this. Now we can leave. I don't like... Right, at least they're leaving. That's right. Keep slithering. Oh, I have to... Um... You were gabbing with my god again, weren't you? Yep. When the captain goes all starry-eyed like that, the crew starts to ask questions. I was rather hoping someone else would bring that up. Thanks, Ayla. If you got something to tell us, Athos is co headed towards Magrin's teeth. If his goal is to bathe his nethers in molten rock, I'm in no hurry to stop him. You're looking upright, Captain. But something in your eyes tells me different. More than ever, I'm determined to find him. Well, Magrin's teeth sounds like the kind of place that should rather stick out. Shall we continue on?
Oh yeah, we can't go that way. Um, which way are we going? Oh, box. Oh no, a grappling hook. Alright, um, I think we went up a wall. Somewhere. Oh, up there. Uh, that way. Gonna wait for him to come back. Scale bellied cowards. I knew they'd run. Hey, I'm back. Look at our beacon. Even the Colossus couldn't destroy it. And those snakes aren't so tough now, are they? You understand the dangers here before. It would be unwise to do so again. Of course. We'll rebuild bigger and better. With reinforced walls and extra cannons. Our engineers will make this place truly impregnable. Yeah, I doubt it. The Hanzanui will want to thank you personally for your help here. And she should also know what we're up against. Where can I find them? She's usually at the Brass Citadel in Nakataka. I'm actually Though she gets called to the palace often, haggling with the Queen and the Valians. I'm headed to Magnum's Keith. Looking for a real challenge after what you did to those scale bellies? <laughs> the only thing I know about the place is it's supposedly made of fire. And no one's ever come back from it. But anything can be over clear skies. Still is a pond. Hi. Light of Aethys be upon you, neighbor. Are you looking for survivors? I'm looking for somebody that might be around here. A short lady, about my age, came from Deerwood with her son. Uh, let's see. Freckles, braids, usually. Punches you in the arm if she likes you, face if not. Oh, and that's if you're lucky. No, that doesn't sound like anyone. Come on, we're in the right place. You must know her. She has a son about your age. You gotta be her son. Got her nose and her freckles. You don't have to lie to me, kid. I'm a friend of your mother's. Is she hiding from someone? Maybe an ex-lover who gave her the best night of her life? Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, you're protecting her. We understand. No, I... I, I misspoke. Um, forget it. Just, just tell me something. Your father, you know him? I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, like Father said, we're friends of your mother. Right. Friends of Alava's. Yes, I knew my father when I was very young. He was a man of strong faith. Have to be. You get Alava mad, you need a god on your side for protection. He was lost to us during the purges. Which was how we came to flee here. So, you met him? Well, that's, uh... That's great. You had a dad. Oh my god. <clears throat> Where's your mother now? Got a lot of catching up to do. My mother is with Aethys. God damn it! She passed the veil a few years ago. A flu. It's possible her soul has taken a new body by now. But if she was truly blessed, she marches instead beside the Shining God. God damn it. You lied to us. Said you didn't know her. Expect me to believe this now? Easy, easy. Kid's lost his mom. Funny, you wouldn't know it to look at him. I'm not lying. She's buried on the other side of that hill. How could she be gone? She flew, dude. Don't be troubled by her passing. All souls that march with Aethys receive his warmth and light. What do you mean march with Aethys? Aethys has come to us twice now. Even Oblivion couldn't slow his march. Oh my god, he's a fanatic. We shouldn't have opposed his first coming. He meant to rally us under his banner. 
Well, I know a lot of dead deer woodens who will be relieved to hear that. Uh, we're victims of the quarrels of the gods. And seeing what we've seen, it's hard to believe they got our best interests at heart. Aethys forced everyone to declare themselves as ally or enemy, nothing more. Now he marches again, and we have a chance to correct our mistake. You have no idea what he's doing. Well, that's charitable. I would like to have joined him when he passed this way, but I was weak. It won't happen again. You seem confident that God is causing a lot of destruction. You can't build on broken foundations. Real change needs destruction. I trust my God knows better than I do. He knows truths I'll never learn. You got that right. I was once lost. I struggled as you do now. But the partisans of the lighted path have restored my faith in Aethys. What greater honor than to march in his vanguard? Who is the partisans? We began as children of the Dawnstars, separated from each other as we questioned our purpose. But then Aethys granted a vision to Gadarian Bosch. Bosch saw an illuminated path lighten the way through a black abyss. And he saw Aethys marching on the path. And Aethys bade him to march alongside. I don't believe this shit. Not quite how I've been seeing it. But everyone's open to their own interpretations. And the Shining God told Gadarian Bosch to gather an army of the God's truest followers. And to prepare to lead it into no, battle. No, 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 no. think after getting blown up, he'd slow down on the battle and... Does he have proof? Aethys himself has appeared in Deadfire in the form Gadarian Bosch foretold. That's more proof than any of his faithful could ever ask. This is bad. What fortune to be given this opportunity. And who does he intend to know him? our God in the living world? Who's he gonna fight? We don't know. The end of the path hasn't been revealed to Gadarian Bosch yet, but to the faithful, shouldn't matter. Are you gonna join him? There'll be a great journey, but we're prepared. Gadarian Bosch knows the way. Why did you lie about us to your about your mom? Gadarian Bosch warned us. Those outside the partisans may ridicule us and test our faith, especially our old families and others close to them. We've learned it's best to keep to ourselves and those with open minds, which relations and friends mostly aren't. Better, do we have everything? We can go. We'll be going. Hey, uh, kid. What was your name again? Baron. Right. This lighted path fellow, Bosch. Sounds interesting. There's some way I can meet him? Well, he's usually on the move, rallying followers. But the partisans of the Lighted Path often gather in the Temple of Aethys in Nekataka. Mm-hmm. I am seem to go there myself, in fact. There's an adherent there, Ogna, who initiates new partisans. No doubt she'd be pleased to help you. Aethys needs able soldiers, even in their elder years. <laughs> you should consider what Ogna has to say. Might speak to you. Dude, kid, kid, you don't know what you're saying. Farewell. <sighs> don't like any of this shit. Fanatics and bullshit. Northeast coast of Hasanga. Alright, we're going to northeast coast of Hasanga to kill that ship first. So, northeast is that way. That way. That way. This way. <laughs> My screen is mirrored. That's a lot of ships. Hi. Oh, hey. Yeah, we were going to just go see you. 
Freya, I have to run. Good to see you again. Pleasure to see you again, too. I, I did. I helped you with that. Um. Okay. I'm gonna be stoic. Seriously. All right, so I have to go to Serpent's Crown. He's not here. He just said he was here. Like, I don't like that guy. He needs to jump off of a, uh, a short cliff. Great and terrible things are at work. And once again, you seem to be in the middle of it. Yeah, everything sucks. The Rawataians we passed will doubtless spread word of what you've done in Hasongo. But others will want to know what you've seen. They'll look to you for answers. I'm gonna report truthfully. You make it sound so simple. Because it is. Don't you worry what will come next? What events you might move forward? I'm going to try to choose my words carefully. I still don't understand how you can truly know what they will mean. What is all this about? It reminds me of the question that drew me to the dead fire. The one I've been avoiding. What have you been avoiding? I promised to tell you what I was doing among the Animancers at Port Marge. As you may have guessed, I was observing them. Gathering information on the various Animancy operations in the region. So you were spying on your friends? Not out of malice. There was simply no better way. Animancy is a subject of particular interest to the Leaden Key. Through it, I hope to pick up the trail. That's smart. Merely a first step. After that incident in Old Valia, I thought more about the Leaden Key and its particular composition. Uh, lunatics in robes? If you two are finished... It's existed for over 2,000 years. Say what you will about its motives and methods, but that's an impressive tenure. I hope you got a while, because I got lots to say about their motives and methods. Relax, Adair. I'm not defending them. That's when I realized how short-sighted I'd been. To think I could undo the leaden key without understanding how it works. What did you learn? By studying its origins, of course. Faye didn't spur the lad. I found references to an ancient leaden key cabal in the dead fire. Possibly one of the oldest, if accounts are credible. And they appear to have been working independently, without direct intervention from Theos, for almost two millennia. So, if you want to observe them, you're going to learn how they work. And how to destroy it, yes. Most sources refer to them as the Painted Masks. But I haven't met anyone here who knows that name. I don't know where in the dead fire they are exactly, but I was hoping we could look for them together. We're gonna try. That's all I ask. All right. All this chasing after Aethys <sighs> brought back memories of the Saints' War. Tell me. Just how scared everyone was, mostly. Everybody put on a brave face, made all these claims about what they'd do when they met a god in battle. There was no sadder sight than a group of us talking big, trying to outdo one another. Even the fella that led us. He used to say he knew all these different ways he could kill a god, if you were so inclined. Of course, at night he grind his teeth so hard it sounded like he was chewing rocks. In case you were curious if he really had it in him. <laughs> Whitaker couldn't stop me. Neither can Aethys. See, when you say it, I'm more inclined to believe it. Or at least to believe you believe it. Point being... The prospect of facing the god makes cowards in most all of us. 
Now, here I am again, on my way to meet Aethys. Some ways I feel the same. Edgy, sick in my gut. But it's different this time. <laughs> Might be because of you. How's that? We haven't gone to pieces yet, for one thing. At least not on the outside. You could have let it all end back at Cad Nua, or even Gilded Vale. But you're still going, even knowing where we're headed. I haven't forgot who you are. There's part of me thinks we aren't gonna make it out of this. When I get to thinking like that, it helps to remember how you've held together. And what do you think? Are we gonna survive all this? Do you believe it or not, I'm not done living yet. Whether or not I believe it, I like it just the same. And I go back and forth myself. Every time we see one of those big footprints, it reminds me not to get too excited. There's a good chance we die out here, halfway across the world from anywhere I ever called home. But if I can face it like you, maybe it doesn't matter. It's been good having you along. I mean it. I don't know where I'd be right now if you hadn't come through Gilded Vale that day. I'll tell you what, though. I'm not one for big promises. But I'm gonna beat up as many people and monsters as it takes to get you your life back. You got my word on that. Ow! Pain! Alright, this is a good time to end it. <laughs>